Orange Country. Orange Country. Shane, have you been having fun at BravoCon? Yeah. So it's so weird when I have headphones on and you don't. Um, but I really like to hear myself talk in the microphone. You just like hearing yourself talk, period. I think I do, which is weird because I always used to be so embarrassed of my voice, mostly because when I remember when I would tell you that I would go through a drive through yeah. and they'd be like, please pull forward, ma'am. And then I would get up to the window and be like, hey. <laughs> You're going to make How me much? laugh and then Olivia's going to make my face crazy. My kids think that's so funny when it the woman funny. says, please pull forward, ma'am. There's in no way like a femininity to your voice, though. It's just high, I guess. I appreciate I you saying that. I think it is, though. Now I'm aware of it. So like, you know, I'm pretty You're putting bro. in the baritone. I'm pretty bro. <laughs> So, uh, all right, give me your highlights. So okay, far. so highlights, of course, we went to the first. Uh, well, first of all, I came over to the Four Seasons to meet Gina. She was getting ready for day one, and I got on the elevator and came up to the floor that we're on, which I'm not even sure what it is. And the elevator door opened, and there were the Gorgas and Sutton and audibly this That's is the, the heavy truth hitting team well i mean melissa and joe gorga right there in my face and all i it came out of me i went whoa and they started laughing because you know everybody's here for this so they know that my reaction is about them yeah and then all i could say was i, I just i just love y'all so much oh my god i and know and they're the best they are Honestly, so cute melissa and, and joe i met melissa so i know i met melissa's cousin tara last year and she's the sweetest girl she just opened up a a a dry bar in Jersey. I hope everybody's Boy, going to it. Boy, that would be it. something to invest in in Jersey. Oh my God. A hundred percent. I'm sure she's crushing it. Yes. And then last night I met Tara's brother at the after party last night. And he's just as sweet as all of the, all of them are. Su they're such a nice family. Oh. Melissa and her whole family yeah. are just, they're lovely. Yes. That side of the family is very nice. Yes. Um, uh, so what else? God, the highlights are, um, uh, you're killing it on the style game. I think okay, everybody yo. knows it. Um, so I fun. I thought Emily was incredibly brave to wear white yesterday with all the self tanner in that room. I she it was not. Sorry, it was, it was not. Um, it was funny because we were laughing about that last night. It definitely was not white by the end. No, of this I mean project. after I hugged her, it looked like somebody had <laughs> farted on her side. Oh my god, the poor girl. <laughs> But it was. I had to hug her like a robot. Hello, yeah. Emily. <laughs> I know because it's so scary. We're all doing this like air kiss thing where we're like, oh, we get so excited to see each other, but then we can't touch each other because yeah. we're all shellacked and spray tanned and hair sprayed, and it's just it's a lot. So but she looks stunning. We, two days in a row. Last night too, you died. I have to say, it. I saw the pics from last night. And you both just, I mean, yeah, she looked amazing. I'm you very, amazing. very happy. I have to say for my bestie, it's a big deal. Obviously, no, everybody knows Emily is my closest person in all of Bravo, you know, and I love her dearly. And I'm very happy for her that I feel like this is the first thing that we've attended where she feels like she should have feel the whole time, you know, but she feels so good. She's really so stepping good. into her own. Yeah. You can feel and it. she looks awesome. I think y'all both are in your her. own way. I mean, not that you ever. Yeah, but I feel like I've. I even when I was at my worst, I wasn't. I feel like I would go out and I still thought I looked good, and then maybe after I was like, oh, you know, or like I just it wasn't on my radar. It wasn't a priority at the yeah. time. But like, I've been back up for a minute now. Where like Emily never went through personal stuff so badly where she could justify why she wasn't feeling good about the way she looked, How? you know? And and so now, but now she's really found a way to like pull it together and like feel the best version of herself she can, you know? And like, I'm happy that she has that because yeah. it's hard when you don't. Well, she looks incredible. How yeah. expensive is it for you with all these oh, looks? I mean, God, every few hours expensive. you're in a whole new look. I'll be honest, I'm probably net negative for BravoCon. Oh, but do y'all get paid to do this? We do. Okay. Yeah. I've had but a lot not, of people ask me that. Yeah. It's not insane. Okay. I'm not going to say the particular number because I don't feel like Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can at but least like acknowledge that that's how you're able to even 
pull all this off. Right. Basically, I feel like that is, it, it's a, fa- this is for the fans. This isn't for us to make money, you know? So, but also like, obviously we, you know, our employers and our network recognize that like, it costs us a lot of money to be able to come in and participate in this. And I feel like that's basically the trade out, you know, is like, this is a fan moment. Everybody wants us to be, you know, at top of our game for this and has that expectation. And we're going to show up and show out. And they basically like supplement that, you know? So since I'm the the one here who's sort of the voice of the people that want to be able to come to BravoCon, want to know about it, I just want to give you the rundown and tell you it's nuts. These people are, if, if possible, even more fanatic than me. (laughs) <laughs> um, yesterday there was a moment where, so they always tell Gina, um, you know, don't step out of this area without security. And I, of course, busted out laughing and I was like, what are soccer moms and a bunch of gays going to do? <laughs> but what I found was uh, they're insane in the best they way. And Gina's, Gina wants to meet way. everybody and take, I mean. I love them. It, Yeah. I Being next to you though, there was a moment where it became like, circular like yeah, these people were around swarmy. you and they're a little tipsy yeah uh, yeah the and they up. and they feel a little i'm gonna be honest with you entitled to you like mm. they're all like i made the trip here i bought the tickets and by god i'm getting a picture and a moment with yeah you. but you know what and i feel in a way they are yeah. this is their moment it you is. know like you're gonna have a moment and that's what that's what the deal is right that's why i say i get disappointed if i hear in my other, you know, and I don't hear it a lot. Like I think the the majority of everybody understands that this is what we're here to do, Yeah. you know? And that's how I truly feel. For three days, I am yours, you know? And I did, and if I'm out and you want a picture, I'm. you're gonna get that picture, yeah. you know? Because what is it, three days of our life for all these people that are the reason that we have the opportunity, the platform and the job that we have? And that's, and, it, and that's so nice that you look at it that way. Hey, I have a question because this is so good that you're doing this. Is there, any, <laughs> is there any chance we could get a little from this angle? Because I actually think, because we won't have any. Oh, yeah. And we're going to be back. Like, like we won't have any. Well, no, I mean, honestly, like no, more than better. anything, it'd be, thank you for doing this. Yeah. Sarah. Um, just because I know it actually is. I think if I was, if I was listening, you see it, it would be very yeah, cool to be seeing what yeah. we're doing. So anybody who's listening to Orange Country right now, we jumped right into BravoCon 2023 and uh, Gina's getting her makeup done. That's why she sounds so far from the microphone. Yeah, because I am. Oh my God, y'all. What is that? It, There's a cricket in here. It's inside the headphones. Oh Stop God. it. Oh my yeah. God. No, it's not a cricket. It's a cricket. There's not a cricket in there. That's coming from... Oh. Go back over there for a minute. Was it, is it her phone? Oh, I thought there was a Y'all bug inside the A cricket. I thought there was a bug inside the <laughs> headphones. <laughs> no, it's weird that Wait, it's your phone. Wait, didn't you think that? I thought there it's was a phone. bug in there. Isn't that weird? This is my phone. Well, it just must be somehow. It's the government. <laughs> it's the government. Okay, so she'll have to do it from that side because that was hilarious. Well, just... If a cricket had crawled out Would of you this... have died? You would be one of those people that are I unused. would be so happy, That would be though. the next headline episode. Oh, cricket makes uh, bo- like burrow You know what I've told ear. you before? I mean, when things like that happen, I wanted that ceiling to fall on your head. I want a cricket Great. to crawl out of well, my ear. What? We want now people to listen. Making a nest. So, okay. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name some more people and I'm going to give my okay, opinion of them. Okay, so we went into the green room after... After I was blown away by the Gorgas, yes, we just came looking back to at your Melissa room. too no, is like a delight because she looks like she's appealing. She's fun to look at. She's so fun to look. So is he. He um, is too. But she's he looks like, like a little meatball, like a super cute. He like, is. Yeah, he's an adorable. He's also ageless. He is. Like You're he could right. be twenty five, or he could be. I'm sure he's in his forties, but yeah. Um, anyway, okay. He's so, like an Orange County woman. You yeah. don't really know. No, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about when Kyle Richards walked into the room. And you almost died. You almost passed. I was like, what is going on? Gina like, really you- did say, um, you're being a little weird. Afterwards, she goes, that was a little much for you. Weird. Because it's so weird for me to watch you. Like you're around like really famous people all the freaking time. I, all the time. You know, I've been thinking about why this works me up so much. And it's, it's interesting because I have worked with the most famous people in music 
But like, for some reason, in life. these housewives, they get wa- you. I don't know. It's because I've been watching them so long. I've watched their kids grow up. I've watched them in and out of marriages. Kyle is going through, you know, a huge oh, change I that that yeah. I never could have imagined. And, she looks so and good. also, you feel like you know them. And she walked in. I was actually on the phone, and with Robert Carlton. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just sitting on the couch. Nobody was in there but us, you and me and Marissa. Kyle Richards walks in the door. Robert is mid-sentence on the phone, just talking away. I just said, I got to go click. Turned off the phone, middle of his sentence. Did not explain why. And I was just like, I don't know. That was my first reaction. I can't be on the phone. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. So I got to talk to Kyle and of course, take some pictures. Yeah. She looks incredible. She does look incredible. Really incredible. I mean, yeah. that's the one thing I got to say. I don't know. Revenge body. I don't know. It now, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Um, that's, let's talk about everybody's bodies. Let's talk about, or the lack of body. Right. Where is everybody going? Oh, is it this so big? It's um, like, yeah. Look, I'm not saying any specific person because I know a lot of people are up in arms about being saying they're on Ozempic, but it's a... Housewife wide phenomenon. I'll be honest, They're, I am the thickest girl in most of the rooms I, I well, walk into. In and Rama. you're so thin, but these women have just disappeared. Gone. Yeah. Bones. And I don't know what they all look like before, but you know, people say cameras add 10 pounds, but I'm like, how many cameras were actually on these women? They're all on me now, I guess, because I I look like I'm three times everybody's size. I felt good about myself before I came here. <laughs> you look what? you look amazing. Yeah, but like if there was like and you're a great role model for you you're a great role model for bigger girls. Oh yeah, I'm like the plus size model. I'm the plus size housewife. How crazy you, is that, Gina? Please, I shut am. Up. But with that with that said, the women have all. I, I just think when people got try to go, oh, it's portion control and Pilates. It I'm is like, not Look, portion control. It, and it just didn't happen all at the same time for every right. single one what of you. What a coincidence! They've all figured exactly. it out. <laughs> but God, they all look good. And I don't even care. I'm not against it. Why I think would we do what you do? They what? all look great. What is that? Oh, those are. It's just some people. Oh my God! It might yes, be Erica Jane. Go on to the probably hall. is. Oh, you know what? Erica's been so nice. Really, I haven't seen She's her. She's super friendly to me. I yeah, seen she her. actually is. Honestly. I haven't had a bad, in, one bad interaction last night. I'm pretty sure that Kate Chastain was talking crap about me. I don't know who that is. She's from below deck. And I'm pretty sure, yeah. It was like an awkward encounter because like I turned well, around to say hello to her, actually say hi at the after party. And she was like sitting with um, this other woman from the New York reboot cast. And, um, who I love. Kristen. Oh. Who is beautiful, stunning model. Wait, and, Kristen... She was on New York. And oh, now yeah, I yeah, back in the day. The re- she's stunning. Yeah, still. She looks like the day that she got on the show. She still looks exactly the same. But she's, she's stunning. Wait, Kristen. Oh, I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah. I love that girl. Yeah, me too. She's a very, she seems very sweet. Well, yeah, except that then I'm, it was an unfortunate because then I, I she was sitting with Key and then I, I turned around to say hello. And next thing you know, she's like, oh, I was just commenting i was just talking about your outfit and i was like oh like you know about for her to give me a compliment right and then she's like yeah it's just like so on the it's such a it's like a theme and i was like what do you mean what's the theme theme? like i don't get it and she's like yeah like she's like it just looks like you should have like like a feather on your head or something like a head and i was like oh i was like well it is very but very like vegas inspired yeah, yeah. you know and i was like you know when I, you know when you when you lean into a look you lean in hard yeah. and then i but then it was just like super awkward and I like lingered and then i like just walked away and i was like huh it was almost like she was saying a snarky remark and then she thought that i caught her saying it but i really didn't so yeah. i wish she just like didn't even like if you're gonna talk shit about me just like let it be behind my back like don't let it get awkward yeah you know so that was a little. Well, I'm glad that that's was a little the weird. only. But then thing. I'm like, maybe it was that she was yeah. just. She has like a very dry sense of humor too. So I'm like, maybe it was just a comment, you know, whatever in time. But it was very awkward. It so didn't. I'm like, I'm not sure what that actually was, but. Well, I am. Um, that was the only weird thing that happened to me. I think. Wait, I have the most phenomenal thing ever in the world that happened to me. I could die. You could terramation me tomorrow. I swear. All right. I could die a happy woman tomorrow because literally, okay. 
I don't even know if I told you this at all. I'm so excited for me. Okay, so do you know how on two years ago on the reunion, Andy went around and for whatever reason, he ended up asking us who our celebrity crushes were. Mine, Jimmy Fallon, right? I remember, I remember. Okay, so during the break for the reunion, Andy Cohen calls Jimmy Fallon's wife, who is a very successful producer yeah. and, you know, she's awesome. Nancy. Nancy, yeah. yes. Yeah. Wow, you are good. I know these people. Wow, okay, oh my God, this is so much more exciting to tell you I mean, you I don't know them right, personally. Right, but you know the players <laughs> involved, but that's really, yeah, so she's like, you know, like in her own right, yeah. a badass, yeah. right? So he calls her during the commercial, our break at the reunion, and tells her that Jimmy Fallon is my celebrity crush. I was so embarrassed, but her, he said, then when we came back, he goes, Gina, I told Nancy that, and she, her reaction was, I knew I loved her, but now I love her even more. And I uh. died. I was like, I love her. Like, that is like the kindest, sweetest reaction. Like, this, this is incredible. And all during COVID, like I follow Jimmy Fallon, she's not on social media. But I follow him and I would see he would post like their walks and talks and they would talk about like how they met and post stuff with their kids. And like I honestly just like fell in love with their whole family um, and I would follow their story, you know, because it was really cool to get a peek inside that life, too, because he was doing the Tonight Show stuff from home. Yeah. Super interesting, right? Right. Flash forward to three Three nights ago, okay, or three days ago, I'm at home. I open up my Cameo app. I had like five Cameos. I was like, okay, I got to get these Cameos done before I go to BravoCon because otherwise, you know, they could expire and I can't let them expire. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed, but also so excited. I get one that's a request for her friend Lana with a video. From, from, from Nancy? Nancy Fallon, who bought a cameo for me and then for Lana because they're coming to BravoCon and I was like this is I was beat red I had first of all I looked homeless I was like okay but I'm like I have to do this right now while I'm so excited so I just put the camera up and I did the cameo and I was like beat red so embarrassed and like just so I I, I don't even know what I said honestly on the cameo because I was like losing my mind you know and then <laughs> I gave her my phone number because I was like, you know, when you're there, da 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 da. So first of all, Marissa then, because she looks at my cameo too to remind me to make sure I don't miss any. She goes the next day. She goes, oh my god, Nancy Fallon tipped you hundred dollars. I was like, first of all, I'm dying now because I'm like, I can't even. I don't even want to take Nancy Fallon's money at all for this cameo, let alone. I'm like getting even more like, oh my god, oh my god. And then Marissa's like, did she text you? And I was like, no, but like the cameo app is weird, so maybe she didn't see it. Da da da. The next day, the day. Before or the day that I'm leaving, the day before I'm leaving, she text messaged me. Honestly, Shane, the most she, it made me cry. Like it was the most sweetest. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm having an outer body experience right now. That Jimmy Fallon's wife is texting me the most kindest, genuine, authentic, yeah. awesome, amazing, and she made me laugh. Text message I've ever received. I was like, this is blowing my mind. And and. What That's world so do nice. I live in, right? And so then last night she was at the Bravos. She I'm was. gonna cry right now because I'm like, this was Don't such cry. a huge you just moment got for those me. Eyelashes right? on. I know Olivia's gonna Olivia's kill me. Olivia's like, no man, gonna kill me. But because she's, you. you know, she, I honestly wasn't expecting any of this to come out of that day, you know, two years ago or whatever with Andy, and like to come full circle here and to meet this person who is. She just like, like I understand why Jimmy married her. She she exudes. So where did you see her? At the Bravos. She was at the Bravos, gave me the most hugest hug. Like, you know, you can feel it when you yes. feel people's energy. Yep. I could feel her energy, just like this kindness, like, like flinging out of her body to, at me. And then met Lana and they're just having so much fun. So we're sitting like right behind us at the Bravos and then the after party, cause obviously, you know, there was NBC execs and stuff there. She was there too. And they were just, then we really got to like hang, but I was so tired that I was like, she was like, you gotta go, you gotta get off your feet, da, 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 da. And she was just so kind to me and special to me, and kept hugging me. And I'm like, I can't even believe this ha is happening. That is such a cool it is story. Beyond the highlight of oh, the like God. one of those, I don't know what it is. It's just one of those moments out of six years of everything happening in this industry, that is a standout moment to me. 
That is, and that, those are the kind of things that if you don't, if you don't lose sight of that and the fun of that, and if you can just oh. keep on doing it the way you do, where you recognize how cool that is. It was and so cool. And speaking of when you said the thing about, you know how you can just feel someone's energy and she hugged you. I have yeah. to give you a big compliment at how many times yesterday in my meeting, housewives and saying I was associated with you. That's a common comment, really? which is, that's almost word for word what Danielle from New Jersey said about you. She goes, you know how you just meet someone and you just know, she said, that's how I felt about Gina. Really? The energy just comes off Aww, of her. Garcelle that is, said that, who really? by the way, side note, Garcelle. I love her so much. Absolutely the coolest, easiest, oh, most I down to earth. I just she is a felt queen. instantly, she oh. was just, just herself. She should, she's just herself and herself is great. Right. Yes. I, I love loved her. her so much. She really. Uh, there is a, there is like a more than a handful group of people of these coworkers, Bravo liberties that like, I feel privileged that I get to associate myself with yeah. and work with for sure. And for sure, Garcelle is one of them. Yeah. She's just that. That she's just that chick, man. She is. She just she's she's very confident without being arrogant. It, yeah. I just really liked her. And That's she's what it is. confidence without arrogance. Yeah. She knows her worth. Yeah, you would you, you would never push her, her around, nope. but but it, you're not afraid that she's gonna, you know, but backstab not, you. She's but, gonna and, say everything to not, your face. Right. But it's and it's not because she has money or because she's had a successful career, or it's because as a woman, yeah, she as a woman who has lived a life as a mom, she knows who she is, she knows her worth, she knows her value, and she has no problem communicating that to other people in a strong but but respectful way. It's true. Love her. Um, I had a ball with Uba yesterday. Uba's so great. She is so just great. a I know. light. Oh, uh, she really is. Honestly. And I met Bryn very briefly. Oh, I didn't see Bryn. Very briefly. She was I'm such a fan sweet. of that cast. Me too, I told her, I was like, I'm such, I'm a fan of yours, you're so sweet. Oh, she was so cute. She's so tiny. Is she? Tiny. But like, tall. She, I, I thought she was tall, She's right? She's tall, I've, but very tiny. Yes. It's funny. Beautiful. Um, it's funny because I've, I forget where I, oh, I know I figured it out when I saw their cast together on the Sorry, reunion man. because I thought Bryn is very, she's deceivingly tall uh -huh. because Uba, of course, is, uh, Uba's well, oh, she's well over model. six foot. I mean, she's I so tall. I got to model walk with her yesterday. Yeah, I, I know. It's so saw. fun. And Bryn like actually is not, she actually, <laughs> wait, you I look like I see a chunker what? clonker next to her. I was like, why okay. am I next to Uba in every fucking picture? Like the only one, she's not, clearly not on Ozempic. She just was born a super fucking model. Yeah, she's right? super, she is, she is for anybody listening and wondering, it, she has a magic face. Mm -hmm. it, Stunning. It, something is, she is, was given something. Magic. Magic. Yeah, her and face is stunning. Her personality to match. Yeah, she just bounced in. Some of the stuff she was saying, honestly, because she was sitting next to me on the panel, and she was she's very talkative, very yeah, chatty. Yeah. And um, I don't even know half the stuff she's even saying, and I still loved everything she was saying. You know what I, I mean? Know, like I one of those people, like she's just like saying this or that or whatever. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm here for all of it. Yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I love you. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of who else blew my mind. I saw Ken Vanderpump multiple times holding a dog that can't be jiggy but must be jiggy two or three i love danielle though I love oh yeah yeah her. that was very i want she's one of the people i wanted to meet so that was cool for me i loved her yeah she was just what she, and she is she is herself yes, i like that totally. too she doesn't she doesn't care no you know what i mean and she's so she's just so like she reminds me of like girlfriends from home yeah. So it's Don't, easy for me. It's comfortable. Cast, that Jersey cast has that. And they also like their their significant others, like I, her They're husband. So sweet. I didn't speak to him, but he's hot and he just had a cool vibe. Oh really? And, I didn't mean I didn't mean him, yeah. Right. And and then you've got Dolores's Dolores is amazing. And Dolores is uh Polly, you know, around and, and very cool. I felt like I mean, I you know, I have my opinions about about uh Teresa and Louie, but but as far overall, that cast, I feel like they're they're very cool, and uh, yeah, and yeah. you actually sort of, I don't know if it's the Long Island in you or what, but 
I'm a Jersey vibe. Jer- you, you are. You are. You would go with that. I would cast. go with them. Yeah. yeah. Except I'm scared of them. But yeah. I would. But I would. I would fit in there. Did you see? You don't watch every all the all the franchises, but it was funny because you were talking about Brim, and she said to Uba on the reunion last week, <laughs> they were fighting, and she goes, "You put people in the hospital. I put people in the funeral home." And she was not kidding. Bryn was like, Bryn said that to Uba. Yeah. But I don't understand what that means. Like she was saying, you life. hurt people, I kill people. <laughs> and they were saying this in like an actual, oh, yeah, fi- meaning an actual joke. physical. Oh, they don't up. like, so they don't. No, no, no. They made up. Oh, that that was the most right. volatile up and down roller coaster of a reunion. And I have to say, they have a very spiritual vibe about them. That crew is very much about the um, coming around to it healing it sort of like what you were talking about on the panel yesterday yeah that new Conflict york resolution. cast really lives by that because yeah. they did go in hard but they came out they they all said their piece they all apologized they they felt like the most settled at the end of a reunion i've ever seen that's great you yeah. know what's interesting to me and i'll be honest i did not feel settled in any way really mm-hmm. at the end of my reunion yeah. But I with Shannon, but I feel more settled with Shannon now. After that panel. After that panel and this weekend, which I was very nervous about the whole weekend and her in general, because I feel that I've she's dealing with whatever she's dealing with, but I have been now I'm put in a position where people expect me to speak on it and I don't want to put, you know, people ask questions. I don't want to, I don't want to get involved, but I am involved, you know, in a certain way. So it was making me nervous. I feel more settled now after this weekend than I have with Shannon in six years. Let me just say, after seeing the two of you interact behind the scenes yesterday, I have a question. Is it maybe that you two just aren't a fit? Like, what, what, you were friends, but but were you really good friends? There's no, we just some people though. like, I see you guys, like when you even grabbed her and said, listen... I want to go into this with this, a positive outcome. Yeah. I'm not going in negative. It's wonderful what you said. She received it. Mm-hmm. But it just feels almost like the both of you are like, we're just, I don't really want to, I don't really want to do this. That, yeah, that's definitely I, I, the I, vibe I get from I think, her. I think so. But I think also like the thing is that, that I understand and I think everybody has to understand there's also like a very big and I don't mean this in a disrespectful way. It's just reality. There's a large age gap between Shannon and I. Yeah. I'm the youngest. And right now, I believe she's the oldest on the cast, yeah. right? And that is a difference. We are different. That literally actually makes a lot of sense because she's probably got some insecurity about that. Insecurity and you're or, the youngest. Or, right. Or it's maybe it, it doesn't even have to necessarily be an insecurity. It could even be like, We're just different. why am I wanting to hang out with somebody 20 years younger than me? Yeah. Honestly, if they put someone, how old am I? 39? If they put a 19 year old on the cast right now, yeah. I'm like, who the fuck is this girl? Yeah. I have nothing in common with this girl. She's so young. She's got so much like to, and you know, and whether she's right or not yeah. about that, you know, but I understand that. That makes sense. You know, we're just so, we're poles. We're different. We're different well, phases of life. Yesterday on the panel, with y'all's two couches, <laughs> it definitely felt uh, like, I don't know. I don't like to have ageism, but one couch felt a little old. And mm-hmm. even though age is in reality, y'all's couch main, I mean, some some of those people are not super young, but it just felt it's newer. Not a, it, this is the thing. I don't think it's about, I know, I see, I understand what you're saying, right? And I the, the bottom line is, I don't think it's about whether that side or this side is good or bad or right or wrong. It just is, we have to acknowledge that it's perhaps two different shows. I got you. You know what I mean? I feel that. I feel that. And also watching people, what's interesting is what- uh, Like they Bachelorette. They just came out with the Golden Bachelorette, Bachelorette. right? Which is, these people are stunning and they're great and they're amazing, right? But would you put those people with the regular, with the current Bachelorette people? That would be odd. Because does that make sense? No. Do you expect the- that the person that they're going to have the same that they were going to be like oh okay no because there's just natural differences yeah. you know when I am when and I, I'll be honest like 20 years from now I don't wouldn't want to be on a cast with somebody 20 years younger than me yeah I don't think I would you know so I I get it 
but it makes it hard for both of us. Yeah. It makes it hard for both of us. I'm going to, I'm going to run down real quick because I, we probably need to wrap this up because yeah. you've got a day to do, but I just want to say from my personal opinion, <laughs> uh, some of the, the big highs is, was seeing people in person and going, wow, they've really pulled it together. I got to tell you who blew my mind, how she looked was Vicky. Oh, Vicky always looks great. She looked incredible. Um, See, to me, Vicky has never not looked great. I've always considered her a woman that uh, presents very well. She always has a certain, um, it's so funny to me because her personality is so funny and quirky and crazy, but she's always had, a, she's always been very classy to me yeah. from the day one. I remember like a lunch, she came over to my house. This is my first year on the show. And you know, she came up, she always looks, she's in like a nice fitted dress with her pearls. Like to me, Vicky has always presented very classy. She looks great. She, she dresses appropriate for her age, but she doesn't dress dated. That was a good way to say it. She was dressed appropriate for age yesterday. But still What's that? beautiful. The food? Um, I'm trying to think. I, I, I really just don't have anything negative to say, except my mind was blown a thousand times. Marissa was laughing so hard at me because every time we'd turn a corner, I would just be like, oh my God. It's They're cool. just all right there. I feel like I stepped into the television or a fun house. Yeah. And thank you for bringing me along for the ride. Oh my God, because I'm so it's glad so you're fun. here. And watching you shine and watching people just continue to fall in love with you. And you, and you also, you, you, you live up to and surpass expectations Aww. every single time. So I'm just really so love, proud I love to this. be associated with I love with it. You. It fuels me up, you know. I can tell. It's, and this you, is the good and you stuff. Do that, and you do that in return. Yeah. So get out there and do it again, baby. And we got two more days of it. I know. All right, we're going to do it again. All right. Let's, let's talk again at the end of maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Okay. All right. That's Orange Country. Orange Country. Signing out. Bye.